So even in because fo folks look people who want sort of county by county or say, you know, well, let's get back online faster, say, well, look, in some states, there's less than 200 cases. In many states, there, there's less than, than 200 cases right now. You're saying even in those states, uh, the same kind of shutdown needs to occur? Well, let's say you have 100 cases and let's say you don't do a shutdown, then it grows 33% per day. So you take 100, you get 1,000, you get 10,000. It's exponential growth if you're not stopping it. They, you, the sooner you in, engage in the shutdown, the easier it is to get to that peak. We have, we have not peaked. Uh, you know, the parts of the country that aren't shut down by the in late April, we should start to see the numbers peak there. They'll still be too high to open up. So you'll probably have to go another month to really get those numbers down. But any part of the country that has cases and, and truthfully, because of our uh, problems with testing, because uh, we're not prioritizing testing the right way, that a lot of those places actually do have cases. But even if they have the hundred, that will grow. Uh, and people do cross county boundaries. And so basically the whole country needs to do what uh, was done in the part of China where they had these infections. Yeah, and it's worth pointing out again that states that had just a few cases last week uh, have you know over a thousand or sometimes two thousand cases this week to your point, uh, uh, Bill. The other thing I'm curious about, you know, we keep hearing that the virus is going to dictate the timeline. Uh, Dr. Fauci has said that. <laughs> When, when you look at this virus, we got three and a half months worth of data now, 150 countries. If you apply all the analytics that a, you know, Microsoft, that, that all, all the analytics that we can possibly apply to this, is how this is going to sort of progress and end knowable? I mean, can you, can you give a, a, a clear answer depending on, on, on what sort of, uh, you know, mitigation measures we have in place? It's very likely that rich countries who uniformly throughout their country do a serious shutdown, that they will able to be able to avoid a high percentage of their population getting infected. That's what the exemplars, like some of the work in China and South Korea, are telling us. Now, as you get to poor countries, the mm. difficulty of doing the isolation, uh, where you live close by in slums, where you have to go out uh, every day to get your food, uh, it is going to be much, much tougher. And so, uh, you know, by summer, I think the rich countries that have been competently uh, led on this will not have to go back into shutdown. And, uh, you know, from the disease point of view, they'll avoid very large numbers of deaths. And so in that phase, uh, we still will have a challenge with the developing countries. One of the things that Dr. Fauci actually said in our last hour, which really concerned me, and I was asking him about the states that, you know, uh, I think there's more than a dozen or so that have a just a one or 200 reported cases. He was saying how it's critical that, you know, that those states that they have testing there, that they test and that they contact, do contact tracing of all those who are known to be infected to really right now when the numbers are still low, track it all. And then I asked him, he was using a lot of uh, um, sort of for, uh, future verbs about things needing to happen or plans. It didn't sound like, I asked him if it was actually happening now. He said it needs to happen a lot more. From what you're saying, it, it's, gotta, it's gotta be happening right now because if there's not that contact tracing in places where it seems like it hasn't really hit, we're gonna see it hit. That's right. I mean, we wish that we shut down even sooner in places like New York, then you would have uh, not had the medical overload that uh, is such a, a huge challenge for them. Uh, unless you're going to partition the country, the whole country has to be in this together. Uh, and we're not, you know, I don't see us making people not cross county lines or something like that. So it really is how many cases are in the country and have we adopted in terms of testing, uh, testing prioritization, contact tracing, the right things. But the good news is we're seeing that countries that pay that price, which is a gigantic price, mm. then uh, the percentage of Chinese that are infected is like 0.01%. Uh, 
And so now, you know, stores are open there and closed in the rest of the world. Uh, you know, that's, I'm not sure you call it good news, but I totally agree with what Dr. Fauci said. He's been a, a very positive voice about the numbers driving this. And those numbers are very uncertain because of the, uh, still the disorganization of, of the testing capacity and where it's directed. You know, it, it strikes me that, I mean, you, you know the world of public health very well, and you know the, the, the world of the economy very well, financial world very well. They, they seem to be pitted against each other, and I don't know, really know much about the financial world at all, but I think there's this idea, <laughs> Bill, that, that maybe you can be a little incremental here, right? Yes, we need to uh, listen to the public health guidance and all that, but can we be a little incremental, start getting some things back to work, you know, so that we don't, you know, really devastate the economy that much? What, how, how, do you, how do you respond to that? Until we get the number of cases in the country down to small numbers where we can be doing testing and isolation against those small numbers, we need to make this our top priority. And it is super painful to drive this very high degree of social isolation I, I call shutdown. The middle course really isn't there because it's hard to say, oh, go back to the theater for a week. You know, maybe or maybe not you'll be infected or infecting people. Uh, you know, until we get the certainty we've hit these low numbers, uh, you know, I doubt even if you told people hmm. uh, that they should be buying new houses and cars and, uh, you know, hanging out in restaurants, I doubt uh, they're going to want to do that. You know, people want to protect older people. They want to protect their parents. And, and so the sooner you, you know, we take this medicine, which is tough medicine, the sooner we'll be out of it and not have to go back into it again. And, and just, just really, I'm sorry, uh, just really quickly, when you say low numbers, I mean, are you talking about actual numbers? Or are you talking about spread? Because this, this is a virus that can spread to two or three people. That's a lot. I mean, if it spreads below to just below one person, is, is that what you're talking about? Or are you talking about actual numbers? Well, the absolute numbers better be pretty low because you're going to have to have the testing capacity to take the remaining positives, see them early, and so you're not getting that exponential spread. And that's why looking at the other countries uh, who acted sooner uh, and in some cases did not have to shut down to a full degree, that's where the lessons are. Mm. You know, uh, you know, they can show us, OK, what was the medical history? So you see if asymptomatics are spreading. But yes, the absolute numbers are going to have to be fairly low and we'll we'll have some degree of caution. We won't open up completely overnight. And, uh, you know, because we don't want quite the full exponentiation, even off of the small base that we'll get ourselves to. In I, I don't want to be political in any way. Uh, but just in terms of for folks who are out there, you know, and, and looking forward, I always think it's better to know just factually what's coming down the pike than, uh, you know, then uh, it's good to have hopes and aspirations, but it's good also to know what's actually coming down the pike. For people who are, are believing or imagining that, you know, uh, in middle of April or early April, People are able to gather together in churches for celebra for you know Easter celebrations, or you know go back to work in a regular way. Is it sounding like you're saying that that's not re you don't believe that's realistic? No, it's not realistic. The numbers are still going up. Uh, it, that only happens after the numbers have peaked and are going down a lot and getting down to an absolute level. Uh, you know there are some good things happening. The work on a vaccine, although that probably will take 18 months. That's going full speed ahead. Our foundation is funding that. We're looking at getting vaccines to everyone in the world. So in, in, the, in the long run, that is the key thing. Uh, we had a really positive result that people were wondering, did you have to have a medical person swab you in this way that they stuck it deep in your nose? We were able to prove, which the mon on, F on Monday, the FDA made official, that if you do a self-test, uh, where you don't have to have the medical work with personal protection equipment, that self-test is as accurate as the one where the medical worker gives it. So that means that uh, by self-swabbing, uh, we'll be able to get a lot more tests done uh, and only be limited by the uh, PCR back-end capacity. So there's, 
you know, there's good news coming. One of the therapeutics, although none of them are proven out, but there are quite a few. We have a, a thing the foundation created called the Therapeutics Accelerator to really look at thousands of compounds and make sure we focus the uh, human trials on the ones that have the most promise. So, you know, innovation, which some of which we could have done in advance, but innovation really is happening. But, you know, when you look at those numbers, the U.S., you know, now with the most cases, uh, at, you know, there is no state that has gotten to the point where their numbers are flat and are going down. And the testing capacity is means we're quite blind uh, to a, a lot of these cases right now. So it 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 can be done, uh, but uh, we're not you know, the light is not at the end of the tunnel in terms of a, a mid-April reopening. 